This problem deals with lift and drag and also how we can calculate power knowing both those quantities. So we have a light aircraft. It has a wing area. So our area equals 250 feet squared and a lift coefficient of 0 0.40, a drag coefficient of 0 0.05, and given a velocity of 100 feet per second, what we want to find is the lift, the drag, and the power required to maintain level flight. So the first thing we need to do is to find our lift, and our lift is C sub L times one half times rho u squared over area. So the only thing that we're missing there is the rho, and which is the density. And remember, we have to use our English units. So that's 2.38 times 10 to the minus third slugs per feet cubed. So now let's put this all together. This is 0 0.4 times 0 0.5 times 2.38 times 10 to the minus third slugs per feet cubed multiplied by 150 feet per second squared times 250 feet squared. And when we calculate that all out, what we end up with is 2,677.5. Now let's look at our units, slug foot per second squared. And we want to change that to pound force. And the conversion is this. So if you notice, it's the exact same number, but we're putting it in pound force. So this lift is also going to equal the weight of the aircraft. Now let's figure out the drag. So the drag is going to equal C sub D times 1 half times rho times U squared times the area. So the only thing that changes in this is our C sub D. So our drag is going to equal instead 0 0.05 times 1 half times our 238 times 10 to the minus third. I'm not putting the units in here because they're exactly the same as before. And when we figure out the drag, what we come out with is 335 pound force. And we expect the drag to be less than the lift. So how do we get the power from that? So the power is going to equal our 335 pound force times our velocity, which is 150 feet per second, which equals 50,200 pound force times meter per second. And if we want to put this in a more recognizable form, all we have to do is convert it to watts by taking this 50,200 pound force meters per second and multiplying it by 1.356, and we end up with 68,100 watts.